My name is Maverick Cabello. I'm 20 years old and I was born and raised in Pique, but I'm from Majaning, a small village in Tsapo. Okay, can you tell me about your experiences in school? Uh, how far have you studied up to? Well, I'm currently a second year business management student at Botu University. Um, how's that course? How have you been finding that course? Well, it's, it's okay. Well, for me, um, I'm studying something I love. So I find it easy to do. Although there are some challenges along the way, but yeah, relatively it's okay. And do you have a business of your own? Actually, I do. I started my business when I was 16. Can you tell me a bit about your business? Well, my business is a digital media house. And we started off by publishing a digital magazine called Africa's Very Own Magazine. Yeah, so the magazine, initially, it started as Piqua's Very Own because um, I lived in Piqua at the time and the vision was to um, put Pique artists um, on the map. So that was the goal of the magazine. And along the way, as the magazine grew, it rebranded to Botswana's very own. And with the new goal to now put Botswana artists on the map instead of just Pique. And later, because of our vision to be the most popular magazine in Africa. We ended up rebranding to Africa Zero Own Magazine, which is our current brand name. Okay. Um, so, can you tell me how it's been like to study with someone like this versus how it's been like to actually try and do your own business in real life? Well, I would say studying business and running a business are two different things. <laughs> Well, studying business, it's, it's mostly theory. It's not the challenges you meet while running your own business. For example, you learn Maslow's hierarchy of needs, but while studying business, you don't really see how it kind of fits into your business. Well, it does to some extent, but like um, sometimes you just don't see it while you're studying business because it's mostly theory, accounting, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, can you tell me a bit about how you heard about Young Africa and the Future Makers? Well, they had a workshop at both the university where I'm currently schooling and I attended that workshop. So that was um, my first time hearing about Young Africa Botswana and their program. And what do you think of them? <laughs> well, I think they're great people. Did you enjoy that workshop? I did. Um, I enjoyed the workshop. I got some... So the workshop was about developing a business model. And if I'm being honest, it, it was something I had no idea about. I didn't know there was something called the business model canvas. So I enjoyed learning that. Okay. Yes. And have you, is that a tool you've applied since then? It is, absolutely. So right after the workshop, I got home and I started working on the business model for my business. I have because now I get to understand my business a little bit more in terms of um, how I run it to make profits. Okay. Uh, can you tell me about how the classes have been? Well, the classes have been great. You know, I think um, the best advantage for me in attending the classes was the getting to meet other entrepreneurs, other aspiring entrepreneurs, getting to interact with them. And um, also they, they come with different businesses of their own and learning about those also. Like, you know, that was the biggest advantage for me other than the actual learning, which was the second best advantage for me. <laughs> um, and what about the mentoring portion of the course? How's that been? 
Well, that's been actually amazing for me because um, I got a mentor from a different country. And for me, I was a bit nervous at first about it, but um, it's the best thing that happened to me because I do actually have a mentor locally. So having another mentor from outside the country in a different industry, in a, with a different perspective, does absolutely help because um, what the mentor me with is something that um, someone who's in Botswana can't mentor me with because they bring a different perspective. It, it does. <laughs> it does. Um, so now that you're coming to the end of the course, how are you feeling compared to how you felt maybe when you started? Well, I feel more confident than I can run a business. Because like uh, the program helped with like, uh, there are a lot of things I didn't know. Um, like, uh, like what I said, studying business management and running a business are different because there's a lot of theory with studying business, but they don't really teach you how to run a startup. So the program uh, equip, equipped me with the knowledge that I need to develop an idea and run it as a startup and eventually scale up. So what's the plan now? What's happening next? You guys are graduating soon. Yeah, well, the plan is to um, continue running my business and grow it. And yeah, I'm going to be using the tools that were given to me by the program. Because um, like the, the six months of the program, really, I felt like the knowledge equipped in me is worth um, 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you're gonna stay in touch with some of your cohort? Oh, definitely, and I'm in touch with them right now, even though the classes have ended. But yeah, I'm in touch with them, and hopefully I'll also be in touch with my mentor after the program, yeah. Maybe some young business collabs, Yeah, yeah, because even my mentor, I was lucky to be given the mentor that I was given because she, she she's so interested in actually funding my business. <laughs> yeah.